Congratulations. If you're watching this video, it's safe to assume that you've purchased your key safe by Splash Data. This video will walk you through a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to A, activate your Splash ID lifetime license, B, input the key safe into your computer, and C, how to use Splash ID to store all of your passwords. So if you're ready, let's get started. You'll notice on the key safe packaging, there's a sticker on the front that says, activate your key. Note that there's also a website address located on the sticker and it starts with splashid.com. So what I'd like you to do is to go to your computer and open up an internet browser like this. You can use Google Chrome, you can use Firefox, you can use Safari, or you can use Internet Explorer, it's up to you. Once you have the browser up, I want you to go to what we call the address bar, which is here, and type in the following. SplashID.com slash keysafe slash activate, just like that and that will redirect you to the following page. You'll notice that there's a computer image and an activate license so you know you're in the right spot. What I'd like you to do is scroll down until you see number one Splash ID account. What I'd like you to do at this point is enter the email address that you would like to use for your Splash ID account. Then what I'd like you to do is create a password that you're going to always remember. And then I'd like you to confirm that password. And then it's going to ask you to put in your license key. Your license key can be found on the packaging. Typically, it starts with an L. Once you find your license key on the package, I'd like you to enter it here. Once you've inputted your correct license key, click the activate button. Once you've clicked the activate button, you will notice that you should receive an activation email in the email address that you inputted here. Now that you've received your verification email, what I'd like you to do is click on verify email here. You'll notice it takes you to another page to confirm your email and then what you can do is close out from there. Now what you can do is install your Splash ID key. You take the key out of the package and you install the key into the side of your computer depending on Windows or PC or Mac you'll notice that it goes directly into the USB port like this. Once in the USB port properly, you can go to your applications and scroll down to your USB device. Your USB device will be located in your application bar under your documents, downloads, etc. You'll notice that the icon for Splash ID key safe is here. You double click on it and it allows you to log in. Go ahead and input your email address where it asks for email and click next. And then you'll be prompted to put in the password. As I mentioned before, the one you should not forget and keep in a safe place.
Okay, now you should be in to your desktop version of Splash ID. You'll notice that are some sample records, there's about 10 sample records that can show you exactly what records will look like once you've created them. As you can see when I click on AAA member, it's going to show me an account number, a name, and a date. As well as my Amazon, my checking account is going to show me my account number, my PIN number, my name, the branch, and phone number should I need it. Okay, This is what you will be doing as a user, is adding these records on a constant basis as you see them fit. If you want to add a record, you simply click on the Add Record button, and it's going to ask you to put in information based upon what kind of record it is. Is it a business record, or is it a personal record? You can choose if it's a bank account, a combination, a credit card, etc. Is it an email account, a frequent flyer, on and on. You also have the option to click on the icon itself and choose an icon based upon what the record is. For instance, if it's a vehicle record, if it's a WordPress record, a Dish Network record, um, a bicycle lock safe, etc. You can go ahead and choose what type of record you were, uh, excuse me, what type of icon you would like to use. Then click OK and it will change here. You can put in your account number, your PIN number, etc. and then click Save as well as attaching files to that if you need to attach a file such as an image of a front and a back of the credit card. Okay, moving on, you can click on dashboard which will take you to your dashboard that's going to show you how many categories you have how many different types you have and how many unique records that you have you also have a splash ID backup in case of lost records or they need to be reverted back to at some point you have your settings tab where you can change your general settings your sync settings and your account settings. You have the option to edit categories, put in business, personal, or unfiled. You can also add different types of categories to that as you see fit. Lastly, you can edit types. If you need to create new ones, you can do that. If you want to add a new type, you simply click here or if you can see all the other types that you've created or some that are default for you. If you ever need help at any time, you can click on Help Center. That will take you out of this um, platform and into the website for our Knowledge Center. And of course, if you have any questions, you can always go to the support site and send an email. Well, hope this gives you an overview of Splash ID and we hope that you put in all of your passwords. And if you have any questions, give us a call.